Morning ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams and let's see what we can do about some of this probability theory. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to work a problem for you where I'm going to use a matrix and it's going to be a matrix where you are not given the um, yes, yes box. So what I have is I have a telephone survey can conducted by the Merit's Marketing Research Company, found that 43% of Americans plan to save more money next year than they saved last year. 45% of those surveyed plan to reduce debt next year. Of those who expect to save more money next year, 81% plan to reduce debt. A random American is selected. So let's see what we've got. So what I've done is I've simply gone into the problem and I've started collecting my probabilities. 43% of Americans expect to save more money. So that's here where I have the probability that they're going to save is 0.43. 45% plan to reduce debt. So I said probability reduce 0.45. The problem is, is that what I'm given here is I'm looking for the probability that they save and reduce. Notice this word right here. Of those who expect to save more money next year, right? This is not <clears throat> all Americans. It's 81% of those who expect to save more money plan to reduce debt. These are the words that you're looking for. Of those who expect to save more money next year. So what that gives me is the probability of saving and reducing is simply of those who expect to save more money next year, and we said that was 0.43, 81% of those plan to do both. So this is your yes, yes, or your both probability, um, because it's only 81% of those who expect to save more money next year, which is 0.3. Four, eight, three. So what I know now is that I've got a, I've got two ors. They're either going to save or reduce, and I have one and or joint probability of save and reduce. So I can continue to work this problem simply using these formulas, or I can make the choice to build a matrix. So let's go ahead and solve the, or ask, answer the first question that has to do with this probability. What is the probability that this person, the random American selected, expects to save more money next year or plans to reduce debt next year? What we know about or probabilities is that the probability of one or the other is the probability of one plus the other minus both. So this is your rule right here. The probability of both equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of both. Because these both people, right, some of them are here, some of them are here. Well, that means I counted them once, twice. So I've got to get those both people out one time, because if not, I'm double dipping. So all I've done now is I've simply dropped in the probabilities that were that came from above. The probability of save, the probability of reduce, 
minus the probability of both. So what that gives me is the probability that an, a person, this person we choose, expects to save more money next year or plans to reduce debt is 0.43 plus 0.45 minus that joint probability that we calculated right here, which gives me 0.5317, which tells me what is the probability that our randomly selected American is going to save more money next year or plans to reduce debt next year. It's 53.17% because we generally um, prefer to express probabilities in the form of a percentage. So let's look at another question based on this same information. All right, so now what the question is asking us is, what is the probability that this person neither expects to save more money nor plans to reduce debt? Well, if you think neither nor is the opposite of both. So I'm either going to do both or neither. I'm the two ends of the spectrum. So an easy, an easy way to calculate this is to use that complement rule. And what I know is that neither nor equals one minus both. Whoops, if I can spell both right this morning. So I said neither nor equals 1 minus, and remember right up here, we just calculated the both, didn't we? So we can say it's simply 1 minus 0 0.5317, and I think if my calculator will work this morning, 0.5317 gives me 0 0.4683. So the probability that a person neither expects to save more money nor plans to reduce ne debt next year is 0.4683 or roughly 46.83%. Because in the big picture of things, what we know is that save and reduce is like saying yes, yes. Neither nor is like saying no, no. And I know the opposite of yes, yes has to be the opposite, is the opposite of no, no, which is why both plus neither will always equal one. All right, so let's see what else we can figure out from this problem. All right, now what I want to know is I want to know what is the probability that this person expects to save more money <clears throat> next year? So that means they're going to say yes to saving, but they're going to say no to reduce debt. So they're going to save money. They're not going to pay off their debt with it. They're going to go on vacation with it. How do I calculate that? It makes saving more money a yes response. Wow, that's bad looking. And not planning to save a no response. So what I'm looking for is one yes and one no. It's pretty terrible looking, so hang on a second. All right, what I automatically know is that normally on this, um, on this I should be able to multiply because it's an and, right? We know and probabilities are multiply. Or maybe we could say this minus this. The problem is, is that these are not independent events. Because if they were independent events, save times reduce would equal save and reduce. And even on my um, lame Walmart cal calculator, I know that 0.43 times 0.45 does not equal 3483. 
and that's because of this conditional or marginal probability up here. So how am I going to figure out what this looks like? What I know and what we talked about earlier was that in some of these savers were some of these boats. So if I'm only looking for save if I take out the ones who are going to save and reduce, because remember this is a yes, yes, and what I'm looking for is a yes, no, if I take out the yes, yes from the savers, I take out these doubles right here, that will isolate just those who are going to save, because it's going to get rid of these guys right here. So the way I can solve that is to say give me the probability that they save but they don't do both. And we know our both was 0 0.03483 which ends up giving me minus 0 0.3483 gives me 0 0.0817 or 8.17% of the people plan to save more money next year but do not plan to reduce debt in the next year. So what I had to do, kind of like I got rid of my double dips um, up here for my boats, was here I had to say, give me my yeses. And because I w don't want people who want to reduce debt, give me get rid of these people who are going to do both, which gives me 8.17%. So this is the way that we can solve this problem simply using the formulas. Um, for some of you, you prefer to do a matrix. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to solve literally this exact same problem except we're going to do it um, matrix style. So, see you around the farm for some more probability.